I believe there's four areas of communication that will boost your personal brand and your leadership potential. Hi, it's Sue with your FAQ and the question this week is, how can I expand my leadership presence? Now, I've come up with four V's to help you. Vision. So whether you're in your own business or you're an executive within a corporate environment, do you know what you want? And what is it about you and your personal brand that sets you apart? You are you. You are unique. No one can do your work the same way that you do. So work out your strengths, work out your skills, and also what it is that you're passionate about, as that can help you clarify what it is that you love to do, and of course the people that you also love to work with. So you also need to understand, well, where does your personal brand sit in the mind of your audience, your target market? So whether those people are external or an internal audience, for instance, do they really know who you are? And most importantly, how can you help them? V is also for visual. So in any role, if you want to be seen as a leader, you not only need to act like one, but you also need to look like one. So for one of our clients, he felt that his brand image and the way that he presented himself, he needed improvement. Now he had some time out from the corporate world and he thought that he'd pretty much lost his edge on his professional look. Now simply, he just wanted to reinvent. He didn't know where to go to buy the right clothes or even what clothes to actually buy. He just wanted to look good, professional and well-groomed, a notch above the average. So like our client, do you want your visual impression to go to that next level? So your clothes and your personal presentation really are that external impression and that external image of your brand. V is for verbal. So what brand image are you projecting through your presentation skills and perhaps even your networking confidence? So your presence and your verbal and your vocal impression that you make also does have an impact. Now, after all, public speaking and delivering key messages is an extremely important communication tool. So do you need to increase your public speaking presentation confidence? And the final V I have for you today is to be visible. So your message needs to be communicated in many ways. Face-to-face -face communication, uh, whether it's virtual pre presentations like we're all doing now, social media, mainstream media, particularly if you're own, in your own business. So by understanding the right steps and the right channels and the right audience for you, so you will engage others and you will gain that communication influence to grow your career or your business and your leadership potential. So one lady at a workshop that I ran, she said she'd gained so much knowledge and confidence that she's no longer afraid to put herself out there. And often that's just what it is. It's gaining that confidence, that confidence to step into your potential. So the best thing that you can do in improving the overall Vs of your communication is just to take one step at a time. So you can review these Vs and uh, you can find out more on my blog this week at suecurry.com.au blog. I do hope that helps you and that will help you step into that leadership potential. Until next time, keep shining.